Hey everybody, I'm Sean. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody on today's episode. I am out checking out a few locations. Spring has finally arrived here in Alberta. It is melting. The ice is finally going off the lakes and the rivers. And so I decided to check out a few locations. First stop today, Bow River. Um, which I already know is open and people have been fishing it quite a bit. It's open year-round But uh, this spot in particular I wanted to check out and then after this I might check out one other spot just to see uh, how the lakes are doing so uh, Let's make our way down to the bow. I'll do a couple casts there See if we can find a fish. So while I make my way Towards the river here, which is just off in the distance by those far trees uh, I have been to this location before. It's a location that uh, I often come to in the spring and sometimes in the fall. Um, I've had a little bit of success here. And uh, one of the things that's different this time is I'm wearing waders. And uh, that's something I just picked up some waders. They were on sale here at our uh, local Canadian Tire, which is Canada's version of a kind of big hardware store, kind of everything store. And uh, got a good deal on them. So I got some waders and that will allow me for the first time to uh, access a few parts of the river that I have never been able to get to before from this spot so I am looking forward to that all right you guys I made it out there are some people here some on the far bank which is pretty typical and then one person here on this side which is not typical usually in this spot uh, you're out on your own so what I'm gonna do because I have my waders is I'm actually gonna wait out a little bit and uh, cast out into this faster moving water. All right, you guys, first cast, we got one. First cast. First cast. I don't know what it is yet. Pike. River pike. And there we go. Beauty. Well, you guys, that is my first open water pike of the year and a pike off the Bow River which is what I came to target but I didn't think I'd get one on the first cast I'm gonna be honest with you so that's pretty cool right there you guys I just let it go I just got out of the net here it is swimming away you can see it just in front of me here and there it goes cool stuff I didn't get a photo I got out of the net but that's awesome all right, everybody, so one of the things I want to do more this year, even more than I did last year, is share with everybody my tips and tricks. So what I got out here with me today is my uh, Ugly Sticks GX2. This is my uh, medium action seven foot rod. And uh, what I caught that on was this um, shad pattern, jerk bait. And uh, I'm just chucked it into the drift and got that hit on the first first cast so I don't catch first cast fish very often and uh, a lot of people think that's unlucky I will never ever ever turn down a fish I don't care first cast last cast anything so um, and as you can see if I point down here there's my waders I'm trudging my way back out here to see if I can pick up another one that was pretty cool and uh, I'd like to repeat that if I can so this is what I was doing. I'm just on the edge of this break here. Um, what happens is the pike like to hold. So the bow, obviously, um, very famous for trout. 
and the trout are often in the swifter water and I'm gonna actually switch over to a different rod later and try some trout fishing over in the rapids here but for here the pike like to hold just off of the swift water and wait for the food to come in and uh, that's what happened on that one I caught that fish just off this break so let's go at it again and uh, yeah what I was doing I hope you can see is uh, what I just did there I let it go into the drift and then that comes out of the uh, fast water into the slower moving water and that's where that pike slammed that lure you guys we've got another one this is a better one this is a better fish definitely a better fish Oh yeah, this is definitely a better one. You can see it swimming upstream right here. I haven't seen it yet, but that's a good sized fish. Oh, she's pulling drag. Oh yeah, that's a better pike. That's a better pike. Oh, that's a fat one. That's a good one. Ugh. That is a good fish right there. Oh, healthy fat. Look at that. Oh, that is a chunk. I don't want to lose it. Cold water river pike, you guys. I've had it in the net a couple times. The only reason I'm trying to go back first is because uh, I don't want to get my hooks tangled in the net. But uh, at some point I'm going to have to. There we go. We got her. That is a beautiful fish. All right, you, all right, you guys, I got the hook out. Check this out. What a beautiful fish. Look at that, heavy and thick, very healthy, gorgeous. We're gonna go get this one released. All right, look at that beautiful fish, you guys. What a beast, what a monster. One last look, oh my God, look at the belly on that thing. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. And here we go, and there she goes, and there she goes. Awesome, she destroyed my lure. And that is all right. Uh, I got the lure, but she destroyed it. She took one of the trebles off of it. She, she might have busted, actually, the back treble. So, here's the carnage. But uh, I am not complaining. All right, you guys. So, what I, like what I said before, you guys are looking to do spring pike fishing in the Bow River. Do not look for areas of fast water. Pike are not a fast water fish. Um, they will go into fast water to chase prey, but they are not a fast water fish They're gonna be sitting in the shallows waiting for the fish to come to them. And so when you're looking for spots Perfect right here. That's why I'm standing here. You see on the far side We got this fast flowing water and coming off this break There's a shallow right here creating a bay and it actually creates a back eddy that comes right in here and Every once in a while some other fish are gonna come in here and there's gonna be pike that ambush them Exactly the same thing on this side. I'm standing right in the middle of it here you can see it comes it hits the shore there's a back eddy that comes into this shallow on this side and the pike are sitting in there and the two pike that I caught right on this break right here so um, there's the cast right there casting right into that break that's where I was fishing before when I caught those fish and uh, they're just waiting sitting there waiting for the food to come to them and why are they here right now because there was a hit right there there was a bite. Oh, I missed it. That was a beauty. Um, why are they here right now? Because it's spring and they're spawning. And uh, they're spawning in these shallow bays. And so um, that's why they're also really strong and fat right now and healthy. 
So I'm gonna stick it out here, see if I can tie into another one. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this location. After trout fishing, I went back to pike fishing for about another hour. Um, and it's pretty much died down, so I think that's it for this spot. A couple of beautiful fish. And uh, now I'm going to head back towards Calgary and stop at a lake to see what the water conditions look like on the lake. And uh, I'll end it out there, so I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, so as I said, I wanted to stop and check out the lakes. Uh, this is a lake quite close to Calgary. And as you can see, the ice is still on. Now it's breaking up and the edges are clear here, but there's still quite a bit of ice. Um, I would say that this is at least, at least a week away from uh, being open enough to be out on. Uh, this is Dalmead. You guys would recognize this is the first place I came to last year for open water and I came out in my kayak and about uh, half of this was still ice and so I was kayaking next to the ice last year. Um, I also wanted to come and see if there was another winter kill because last year there was a massive winter kill of fish in this lake. I don't see any. So um, it, it would say that uh, conditions are okay. I don't know how many fish are left after last year's winter kill, but conditions look okay. So uh, I'm going to walk down further to the canal that leads into this lake and see what it looks like, but this is definitely a ways away yet. All right, so the uh, canal at the back here is also covered in ice, but it's not very much. It's probably only a couple days away from being open, so that's uh, interesting. And um, also that means that uh, pretty soon these lakes are gonna be open for kayaking and I cannot wait. And so hopefully that is very soon. But until then, I hope you liked this episode. And if you did, smash that like button, hit subscribe. And until next time, good fishing.